Go for it. G'day everyone, Joe here, Joe Wolf from Bo Wolf here. How do you like that one? Uh, now, we've been asked a uh, question by Quentin. G'day Quizza! Good to see you mate. We've been asked a question by Quentin about putting a water level or how do we level around an existing building and how we go about building a water level. So, when we do a renovation or extension, obviously we have to adjust the floor uh, to become level or consistent throughout. One of the best ways that we can do that is by running a water level. So what I want to show you is how we go about making a water level and the uses of it. So over here, we started last night. Here I've got a six litre container, put a hole in it and I've already siliconed in one of the joiners. The silicon I've used is just roofing guttering silicon. It's good stuff. Um, you don't have any breakdown of it. And this will last you a long time. As many renovations, extensions, or decks, or whatever you want to use, this is the way to go. From here, I've got a couple of joiners. Blue dye. You can reuse green dye, red dye, it doesn't matter. Just some food dye. Um, obviously, the silicon gun. And then I've got a hose. And you can see how much hose I've got here. I've got two lengths of 10 meters, so I've got 20 meters of hose. You can always use more, you can use yes, less, it's just up to you, whatever you want to do. So, I've got some boiling water here. What I will do is just plastic band these together, and then slip a joiner in two, and we'll stick them in here. Now, we don't want to leave it in, obviously, for way too long, but this will help soften all of the plastic. So this is the way that you do it. I believe that the Aztecs or the Mayan um, culture also used water levels when they did their, um, their pyramids and buildings of Masu Picchu and all of that jazz. All that jazz. So we know that these are all nice and soft. Yep, they're nice and malleable. Really beautiful and malleable. So the first trick that we'll do is find the end. Of that and that will then go straight onto beautiful like a bought one next we'll get one of these ends and put that in the other end You can see that just slides in nicely. We could have got it a bit hotter, maybe perhaps, but for the purpose of, they're not gonna come out. They're nice in there. You can even silicon those into place if you want to, or you can leave them. This on the other hand, we wanna get this fairly hot so we can try and get that in there as deep as we can. That's very important. Um, nice and soft and that will slip. Taking from where we left off, we've got the blue dye. This is completely sealed. We've got it joined, it's siliconed in. Our hose here is joined in two places and that's siliconed in as well. Only on the joins, obviously, not in the center, so water can flow through nicely. Um, from here, we've got the other end. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put blue dye in here some people like to use, use antifreeze. Um, if you use antifreeze, then I wouldn't strongly recommend doing what we're about to do. <laughs> so from here, we give this a bit of a shake up. And then, So what we're doing here is we're trying to get the ends lower than the actual bottle and get rid of all of the air bubbles at the same time as you can see the blue running through all of our pipes. Slowly but surely it's running down, it's running around and it'll keep doing that as long as we're lower. 
And here it comes now, down the end. You can see the blue coming along. And here it is. So now we've got rid of all of our air bubbles. Here it comes probably the last one. Let's get rid of that. And now you can see it's a nice thick blue dye that's coming out. Next thing that we need to do is attach this. To attach this to our staff. Obviously, as long as this end is higher than our outlet, sorry, our bottle at the other end, we're not going to have any water coming out of this end here. Put that on in a couple of places. We know we're not really going to move above there for the time being, so we can either strap it just here somewhere, because we're only going to be moving, give or take, four or five inches throughout the place. So that gives us five inches down, um, five inches up and five inches down, or 125 mil if you'd like me to convert it. So there we have our water level. And as I move it, you'll see this move up or down. Right here, for example, we are at, let it settle. We're at 11.03, 11.03, then we'll go into the middle of this floor. All right, so we've brought it over here. Now we're at 11, we're right on 11.30. But then if we come just over here, the floor drops away savagely and we're on 11.89. 88, 11.88. So then we know from this point here to that point there, one mil out of level. So what we'll do now is run over the entire place and we'll get our levels throughout the entire house and then we're able to re-level it using our bearer stump jack and pack system and get it nice and consistent all the way through. So stay tuned for more handy helpful hints at Bowwolf Builders. Till then, stay awesome.